Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking with the Chems. I'm Stefan. Today I'm showing you all how to make a dish that's very popular in Asian bistros and restaurants all around, chicken lettuce wraps. This dish is so refreshing and also a great starter for entertaining guests or just your family. Eating with your hands allows for a deeper connection with the food and the flavors that we will develop with this dish will hit all of your sensory notes from sweet, spicy, and salty to crunchy textures from the water chestnuts, iceberg lettuce, and lightly crisp noodles. I'm also going to show you how to make a simple ponzu sauce with yuzu, a Japanese citrus to dip into. And this sauce will add a refreshing zing to these lettuce wraps. So let's begin. For the chicken, we're going to need one large brown onion, cut off the top and peel, leaving the bottom intact. The root allows you to have something to hold on to so that most of the onion is used. Cut in half and start with one end at a slight 45 degree angle and run the knife through. When you get to the center of the onion, cut straight and at the angle again with the other half. We're going for a small dice. I prefer cutting with this method because it cuts down on prep time. We're using the onion's natural layers to produce a nice dice. Grab a two to three inch piece of ginger and peel. Square off one side so that the ginger will not roll. And this goes for any vegetable that's round in nature. Cut in the thin planks, stack and fan out before running your knife for a fine julienne. Then rotate it one more time for a fine mince. We're gonna need a couple cloves of garlic. I'm using four cloves and you can definitely add more if you like. Cut the ends off, slice and run your knife through for a rough chop. Set that aside for later. Next, we have green scallion. We'll use both the green and white ends. Cut the green part into two to three inch pieces and then run your knife through, creating ribbons of green onion. The green scallions are an important component to this dish. It adds color, texture, and a mild onion flavor that just works so well with this dish. Give the whites a quick chop with your knife and set aside for the chicken saute. The green scallion ribbons are getting a nice dunk in some ice water to shock the onions. This is the same technique that we used in the poke video, which I will link in the description. Stir for about 10 seconds, then remove onto paper towel and allow to dry. I'm using drained canned water chestnuts. Depending on the size, some need to be split before cutting into a medium sized dice. Water chestnuts are not actually nuts, but vegetables that grow in marshes and underwater. It can be found easily in the Asian food sections of grocery stores. The chestnut has a light nutty flavor with the crisp texture of an apple. The best lettuce to use for lettuce wrap, in my opinion, is iceberg lettuce. It's fresh and holds the ingredients together so well. Remove the core and quarter it so that the leaves are easier to wrap and pick up. Remove the middle and keep them in the fridge for a nice chopped salad for another meal. Next is a quick and simple ponzu sauce. Start with half a cup of low sodium soy sauce, one tablespoon of granulated sugar, about half a tablespoon of yuzu juice. If you can't find this, you can easily just substitute with equal parts lemon and lime juice and some sesame seeds. Stir together to make sure the sugar is dissolved. Now it's time to cook the chicken. Add a swirl of vegetable oil and add the onions in and sweat until translucent. Add the ginger and add the garlic and cook for another two to three minutes. Cook the garlic until light brown. Now I'm adding in one pound of ground chicken breast. The reason that I'm using lean chicken instead of dark meat is because it offers a nice delicate flavor that complements the dish and it doesn't overpower the other components. I'm adding in two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce, four tablespoons of hoisin sauce, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and some sriracha hot sauce for a little kick. Fold in the ingredients, making sure the chicken is fully coated, then add chestnuts and cook for three more minutes, making sure it's hot. Add the white scallions to this chicken saute. Set aside and let's fry up the rice noodles. I have a little bit of vegetable oil in a sauce pot and I'm heating it up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the oil has reached 350 degrees Fahrenheit, drop in a small bundle of rice noodles. As soon as the noodles expand and puff up, it's time to remove. Work in small batches because they expand by a lot. Now I'm gonna show you two different styles of plate up. 
The first one is family style. Start with a nice pile of rice noodles to the side, spoon on some of the chicken, green scallions, chili threads, and some sesame seeds. Add the quartered iceberg lettuce on the other side and that dipping sauce with a small amount of wasabi. Now let's assemble the wraps. Start off with three bundles of lettuce on a plate. Place some crispy rice noodles on top, one spoon of chicken, scallions, chili threads, and sesame seeds. And you can't forget that sauce and wasabi. These lettuce wraps make a healthy appetizer or even a great meal prep for lunch. Put away your utensils because this dish is best eaten with your hands. The ground chicken is nice and lean and the yuzu with the soy sauce is so bright and fresh, packed with umami. You've got the crunch from the lettuce, rice noodle, and the water chestnuts. Every single ingredient adds something special. You can swap the chicken for tofu or mushrooms and if you're gluten free, swap the soy sauce for some tamari. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to catch our latest videos. Leave a comment down below for any recipes you like to see. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Cooking Chems. And as always, thank you for your continuous support, and we'll see you next time.